I don't go looking for 12-year-old girls. I'm not in that kind of shape anymore. <laughs> I haven't been in that kind of shape since I was involved in a sport called high school wrestling, which was not by my choice. My father made me get involved in wrestling. He thought if I didn't do an after-school sport, I'd get drunk and get my girlfriend pregnant. Little did he know I could multitask. <laughs> I learned a valuable lesson from wrestling, though. I learned what it's like to be a woman. Oh, so that, I was forced to go out in public in a bathing suit. I was constantly obsessing about my weight. And I had sweaty boys putting their hands all over me. I was wrestling and I was like, oh my God, this is what it's like to hook up with me. You like it? You like it? Want a little more? We once had a wrestling tournament two hours away. I got there and I got pinned in 17 seconds. And then I actually became my girlfriend. I just drove two hours for 17 seconds? No, 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 no. I know you're finished, but you better get back down here and think of something for me to do. And I'm walking off the mat all dejected. My coach comes up to me, he's like, listen, man, I don't believe in losing. If you're about to get pinned and that guy's on top of you, you take this part of your thumb and you jack him from behind. He'll jump right off you. And I was like, you know what? Screw it, I'll just lose. I don't associate a single thing you just said with victory.